Das war tatsächlich faszinierend. It's truly fascinating to observe how a stem cell, which at first doesn't move, suddenly becomes a beating heart muscle cell. Ten years ago, molecular biologist Ulrich Martin was still dreaming of creating heart tissue in a laboratory. Now his dream is luckily within reach. Every year in Germany, a quarter of a million people suffer from a heart attack. One in five of these cases results in death. One important goal is, of course, to treat patients after a heart attack. During a heart attack, a part of the muscle dies, and so the heart loses some of its functionality, which means it contracts and pumps less effectively. The idea is to utilize the heart muscle cells that we've generated with stem cells to partially or fully recreate the heart muscle and eventually restore at least part of the pumping function of the heart. This could help a lot of patients. The beating heart cells are created from patients' converted skin cells. These reprogrammed cells are cultivated in a special cocktail of so-called factors, but finding the ideal growth conditions is complicated. We've already managed to cultivate a piece of heart muscle, a kind of patch, which is 5 by 5 centimeters in size, but it's not quite thick enough. The thickness is precisely the problem. A heart muscle consumes a lot of oxygen, a lot of energy, and thus needs to be supplied with enough blood. This means that alongside with the heart muscle, one also needs to create a system of blood vessels which are large enough for the surgeon to connect them to the existing vascular system. This is currently the major hurdle that we still have to overcome. Of course, we hope that we'll achieve this in the next few years. In addition to growing, the new heart tissue also needs to gain strength. To achieve this, electrical impulses train the heart cells in an incubator for their subsequent use within the heart. In the meantime, we know that these cells integrate into the heart and form heart muscle cells. This has been shown in several studies from the United States, and we have confirmed these results in small rodents. Eventually, we need to be able to show that we can successfully create a functioning heart muscle within the heart. Up until now, this has not been achieved. I think that in general, there are two different visions. One wants to use the human heart muscle cells that we already have to assist us in developing new drugs which ultimately improve the heart muscle function. Worldwide, many different research groups are currently working towards this goal. The other vision is to create a new heart muscle by utilizing the heart cells that we've generated in the laboratory to then one day be able to replace the scar tissue from an infarct with a functioning new heart muscle.